Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good. I am Kevratyar who welcome you all. Today we are going to see table layout using view pager in Android. We all have seen table layout in many applications like WhatsApp, Instagram. So in WhatsApp there is three tabs. So today we will create three tabs with fragments. If you have not subscribed to our channel then subscribe to our channel and motivate us to create amazing tutorials. So let's begin. First create and blank android project. Now open activity underscore main dot xml file. Here we will take linear layout as a parent layout. Now here we will take table layout. So write tab. Now we will take width as a match parent and height as a wrap content. And we will assign id to tab layout. Now we will set tab indicator color so write tab indicator color and we will set purple 500 color and then we will set selected tab color so write tab selected and here we will take purple underscore 700 color now we will set tab text color so write tab text color and here we will take black color. Now we have to create one style for this tab layout. So in the resource folder open value folder and here we can find theme or we can find style.xml file. Now in my case there is theme.xml file. So simply open this file and here we will create one style. So write style and here we will set name as tab layout text style now we will write item and name equal to android colon text style and we will set text style to bold now we will set text size so write android colon text size and we will give 16 size so write 16 sp and at the end we will give text color so write android colon text color and we will set white color so write color slash white so we have created our style now we will set this style to our tab layout so simply click here and write tab text appearance and we will set a direct style dot tab layout text style so we have set our tab layout now below this tab layout we will set view pager so write view pager and we will take width as a match parent and height as a match parent now we will set the id of this view pager as view pager and we will set the background color of this view pager as white and at the end we will give weight as 1 so we have done with our layout now simply create three fragments because we want to create three tabs so right click on package name and in the new tab here we can find fragment and in this fragment we have to select blank fragment so i will create three fragments like home and after creating this fragment we have to remove all this boiler code so simply remove this code same as this we will create two more fragment if you have not subscribed to our channel subscribe to our channel and do support watch the video till end so you will understand properly and if you have any query dm us on instagram so we have created three fragments so now we have to create one adapter so right click on this package name and here we have to select kotlin file class and in this we will select class and here we will write fragment adapter now this fragment adapter will take 
fragment as argument. So we will write fm colon fragment manager and we will extend fragment state pager adapter and we will pass his fragment manager as argument of this fragment state page adapter and we will define the behavior so we will write behavior resume only current fragment and here it shows error because we have to extend two methods so simply click on it and extends to method so now let's create two arrays one for fragment list and another for fragment title so right we are fragment list colon array list and in this bracket we will set the type as fragment equal to array list same as above we will create another variable for title so write fragment title colon array list and we will pass string as a type of this array now here we will return total count of fragment so write return fragment list dot size and in this get item method we will return current item of the fragment so write return fragment list and in this bracket we will pass current position now here we will override one method name is get page title so write override if you n get page title and here we will return fragment title and here we will pass position and at last we will write one method for add fragment so write if you n add fragment and in this bracket we will pass fragment and after that we will pass title so write title is string and we will add this fragment to our fragment list so write fragment list dot add and here we will pass fragment and we will add title to fragment title so write fragment title dot add and here we will pass title so we have done with fragment adapter now open main activity dot kt file so in main activity first we will create object of view pager so write var view pager equal to find view by id and here we will write id of view pager so write r dot id dot view pager is view pager now we will create one object for tab view so write var tab layout equal to find view by id and in this bracket we will pass id of tab layout so we have created object for view pager and tab layout now we will create one object of fragment adapter so write fragment adapter equal to fragment adapter and in this bracket we will pass support fragment manager as argument now using this fragment adapter we will call add fragment method and here we will pass our fragment like home and after that we will pass title of this fragment so write home now second we will add chat fragment so write fragment adapter dot add fragment and here we will write chat fragment and after that we will write chat and at the end 
we will add setting fragment and we will set the title as setting so we have add our three fragments now at the end we have to set adapter to our view pager so write view pager dot adapter and here we will pass fragment adapter and at the end we have to set the tab so write tab layout dot set up with view pager and in this bracket we will pass our view pager so we have done the code now let's run the code and see the output i hope you understand properly if you like the video don't forget to subscribe our channel so here we can see our app is up running now let's click on chat fragment and see what's happen so we can see our app is running perfectly thank you guys for watching this video don't forget to like share and subscribe do comment stay tuned